Hello everyone, Nicola here from the Bonita Soft marketing team. Once again, welcome to Bonita Days 2018. Our multi-day webinar series is bringing together our community of users, customers, technology partners, and partner integrators. Um, over the course of these three days, these short bite-sized webinars are covering topics such as digital transformation, the cloud, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and other topics. These immersive online events are hosted by our A-list team, led by our CEO, our R&D managers, tech evangelists, but also specialists from other partner technology companies. Fear not if you've missed any of these webinars, they will be posted shortly on our YouTube channel. And we also invite you to actively take part by submitting any questions that you might have in the chat or questions window located at the bottom of your GoToWebinar dashboard. And our webinar hosts will try to answer as much as possible. Um, please visit our website for any more information and to register to other webinars. I've also included the link to our Bonita Days registration page in the chat. And moving on forwards to today's webinar. So today's title is Go the Full 100% in Digital Processes with Bonita and DocuSign. It's organized in cooperation with one of our trusted technology partners. DocuSign integration helps Bonita and its customers create fully digital end-to-end -end business process-based applications. Your host is Head of Alliances and Channels at DocuSign, Mr. Sebastian Francois. He will also be assisted with our in-house techno technology evangelist, Lionel Palacin, to answer any integration questions that you might have after the presentation. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Mr. Sebastian, and I hope you, on you all enjoy day two of Bonita Days 2018. Sebastian, please. Thank you very much, Nicola. Hopefully, uh, everybody can uh, hear me well. And uh, so, good morning or good afternoon uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Sébastien Francois, head of Alliances and Channels, and working specifically to, with, um, with, uh, with Bonita. Uh, and I will go through the uh, how to keep the uh, your business on the person digital, and especially the combination of the two solutions, Bonita Software and DocuSign, and how we uh, we help or we help organization to uh, transform their business uh, and keep everything uh, without paper. So I will start the uh, the presentation with a uh, few so first and then and then headline, but also few figures. Uh, so to give a definition of DocuSign, we are uh, we help organizations to, um, uh, in the last kilometer or last mile of a transaction, uh, keeping the, uh, the the signing process and the agreements between individuals or entities or with entities or other organizations. Um, when it comes to uh, an agreement and signing a, a document, make sure that every uh, we don't get the, or we don't break the effort that, that the organization has put in, 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 in software, in, in business software, uh, um, and, and to, to uh, digitalize the, the, the processes. So that's uh, exactly what we do. Uh, we do that across the world. Today we have all, uh, 300,000 customers in, uh, in almost all the, the countries of the globe. Uh, we have two uh, hundred million of users. What, what does it mean a user is when you, as an individual, send a document to uh, to different recipients to collect the signature. This can be uh, clearly in uh, in person. Uh, we are in the same room, and and, and uh, I give you, for example, the tablet and uh, put onto the tablet or, or the device for you as a signer to sign the document. So that's an in-person signature. Also being remote means I send, so I send the uh, document envelopes and you will receive a, a notification as a recipient to a signer and you will connect to uh, the document interface that can be mobile or web uh, to sign the document. So that's the two, two main scenarios actually that are many others, but that's the definition of the user that will, uh, will send a document. So 200 million of users, and actually it's increasing every day, so uh, we are much more 
in a higher uh, way today. And uh, in another number that is quite interesting is how what what is the ROI and actually uh, yeah, the the settings per document is uh, roughly and we call euros that's in dollars, but we can say roughly thirty um, thirty dollars. Um, and also in terms of uh, term for for transaction is how much DocuSign can impact the uh, uh, better transaction. So the, the, the reduce actually the time the, the sign by one or different signers. It was mostly in North America because we are US company HQ in uh, in uh, San Francisco. You probably know already uh, what you, know, you heard about DocuSign uh, because you sign the uh, real, your real estate um, or your new property contract with DocuSign. We uh, more than four on, um, sorry four hundred thousand agents within uh, America are signing uh, or sending DocuSign uh, with DocuSign. And uh, or, or with any other business like for example, they uh, any any um, plan or mobile plan that uh, that you, you want to contract with T-Mobile, either online or on, in a boutique, you will sign with uh, with Opisan. That's quite impact impacting for I, I guess two examples of organization, but that, that across organizations can be public or private organization. Because actually, the uh, um, a signature or signing an agreement is uh, it is for everyone and it concerns everyone. If they're in B two B, in B two C, and small business, big business, uh, and public, uh, so it concerns every, everyone. And this can be for any kind of application. So we go through some applications that we are created with. Indeed, Bonita is is uh, is one, and we are uh, for others. I wanted to to, uh, to continue on, on this slide because it's quite also in terms of impact. We we, we talk a lot about the uh, the climate change. We talk about uh, about the uh, the green um, you know, behavior or um, resolution that the uh, organization across the globe are taking, and this time is is, uh, is a huge impact of CO two in terms of uh, uh, reduction. I mean, in terms of uh, number of paper that um, that we reduce, that's that's our number one uh, enemy, uh, the paper. And and we um, we want to transform the edition. Even uh, printers, uh, manufacturer, uh, actually move to the digital world. Indeed, and a partner with Opusing to change their their, their value proposition. So in the case of Canon, uh, this kind of company, they are partnering with Ocusang to help organization moving from paper to, to fully digital processes. The, um, so now, what is the real uh, benefits of binding Bonita Soft and, and Ocusang? They, they, I think that they are to be indeed 100% digital. There are two levels of uh, of uh, connection of the design. There is, if I talk a little bit in, in terms of IT, there are there is a front end uh, connection, which means your uh, user interface where you will um, uh, be able to uh, to set up the data, create the documents, um, do uh, different workflows, but from the user interface. So the user will act in, into this, this process. And, and then at the end, instead of printing, sending, scanning, retyping, or wicking the, the, the data into the system, you will use DocuSign to keep the, 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 the process digital and not, not on paper. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is to say well, that there is actually uh, a, a process behind the, the, the front end that is generate, that generates sorry the, uh, the document that generates uh, potentially transaction or cre um, um, initiate transactions, and that's the case of Bonita. So uh, when portals uh, are are designed for for users, behind all the processes uh, orchestrated or ordered 
software by um, uh, or formal by uh, Bonita software. And the, the good combination with DocuSign is when it comes to the transaction is exactly so means that there is a document, there is a process that has been um, uh, driven by the Bonita. It then once instead of printing, once there is a transaction to uh, to start, that's where Bonita send to DocuSign the uh, uh, the orders. And then DocuSign will execute the sequence of signature because it can be one signer, but it can be uh, ten signers depending on the, the nature of the contract or, or the, the, the document. And so DocuSign will do all the job of the transaction, making sure that uh, signatures are collected. Potentially, data are collected or, or modified during the transaction because there is the um, um, uh, tags and fields that can that can be um, Added the document. So instead of doing the review, uh, giving the information, we we'll, and then in another step or session, we we'll, uh, we'll sign the document. You combine the two, and you you do that in one session. So uh, the user will be able to change the the PO, the purchase order, for example, or will be able to uh, give uh, further information related to the contract, and and then sign in one sequence. So that's that the uh, that's really powerful on the DocuSign uh, the and the user or the signer will be able to do that in the e mobile uh, environment because that's uh, now a, a really large part of our transaction that are um, accomplished or, or performed on the mobile device can uh, uh, on the computer as well using the web interface. I didn't mention it, but uh, DocuSign is a cloud-based solution. We have data centers in uh, in uh, North America. We have data centers in, in, in Europe, and we are building other data centers in all the region of the world. Uh, why we are doing that is because of the uh, different regulation or, or, or um, data privacy requirements that can be different in, 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 uh, in depending on the continent or the region. Um, so we are able to store the data in the different data center according to the, um, the, the, the regulation or the, the needs of the customer if it's a global uh, uh, global company. Um, what is the result of Bonita and the design, um combined? There, there are three uh, major impacts. The first one, and I will bit later um, in, in the other slides. The first one is user experience, making sure that actually the, the user, instead of having friction and and uh, with, with, yeah, because of the paper, because he has to sign, scan, or whatever it is, and return by email or by even uh, mail, uh, have a, a, a experience. So that's the first impact. And the second one is the AI. Uh, I get uh, thirty dollars per document. Go more details, more details. This and then it will depend on the uh, uh, the, the type of document. The last one is the com is uh, compliance, the, and I could have add the security uh, uh, added to uh, compliance that is really important today, and we we see the difference. Uh, threats um, from from the hackers and 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 so, the, 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 so we need to, to have the other need to have a solution that she, she can count on and 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 also is completely secure. So we have a number of um, uh, ISO. So we are ISO. One. We have different certification depending on the regions again. And uh, so we will provide that to us. It is um, published on our website, um, into that. Coming to compliance, uh, there is an e-sign act in the US. There is a, a, a another regulation in the UK. There is another one in, in, within Europe. Uh, there is uh, another one in, um, in Brazil, for example. So uh, I would say that there, there is at least 10 Type of regulation considering the region of uh, of, of the globe, and uh, even local regulation and even local uh, laws depending on the 
uh, demanding on the business you are. So lawyers, for example, will have a different regulation than real estate, etc. So it's really important that a, a, a same solution, same platform, uh, can address the different um, way and 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 mean of signatures. Um, and and so have the instruments that the solution will comply with the different regions. I mentioned the hundred. Uh, eight, eight countries before, and DocuSign is legally binding in those different countries, except uh, in nine countries uh, in, in the globe that uh, we, we don't comply that for specific reasons. Um, so that's quite impactful. If we go a little bit into the, uh, the value proposition and, and specific to the different use case, uh, we see that there are uh, five main use of the system. The, the, the first one is uh, notify. Notify the employees, notify the suppliers and vendors about, for example, um, uh, price skills as, as a change, a, spe a specific policy, term and condition, etc. So that's, uh, it means that you will send the document through DocuSign or, or order by Bonita, but you will send the document through DocuSign and uh, notify the different users or the different recipients for them to acknowledge, uh, be notified that they, uh, uh, for, for your organization, so it will be notified mm -hmm. that the user recipients receive the documents. The second level is the acknowledge. Uh, it gives a little more um, uh, strength in, in, in the proof that the users has received the document and, and use the document. So the, everything is uh, written in the certificate of completion that accompanies the signed document. And we see those different le level of, um, of, of uh, production and, and reception of the document. So notify acknowledge the second one. Uh, the the third one is approve. Can be an end process, but can be also a process with uh, external people. And you want a platform that is uh, or a solution that can be usable from everywhere. Mobility again, uh, or, or from any kind of technologies uh, that are uh, using internet and and and, um, and the web. The the, the fourth one, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the first one is um, the uh, collection of data. I, I mentioned before uh, earlier the, uh, uh, the the possibility with DocuSign to fill out, for example, the purchase order or, or provide some, some data or modify some information in the document. And that's exactly these uh, this, uh, features that allow DocuSign. Uh, in order to complete the document in the same time that actually the, the, the person will sign the documents. So that's the, the last one. And uh, the last one indeed brings the legal, legally binding aspects, even if the others have their, their own uh, function. So this increase the, the capabilities and the, the, the scenarios of using DocuSign within a company. And if we now look at the different use cases, and we can not go through the, the, the 1500 use case, but just to give you a flavor, by the uh, business line or in, in your organization is uh, start with the sales. Yes, you, you can send a quote, you can send a, an NDA if you start the relationship with the, 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 the customer. Uh, you sign uh, agreements, uh, any kind of uh, sales agreements, etc. So that's that's a good uh, start in the, the, sales, uh, the sales side. That's we have in, uh, proven to um, uh, or with customers, sorry, uh, with Bonita. A second one that we, we, uh, we meet Quite often is the HR, so uh, making sure that your organization has the right with the company, uh, having uh, an offer letter that can be reviewed and signed. So uh, it gives a good impression from the company. And, oh, that that's a digital company. That's a company that that is uh, efficient and, and and go fast and and, and well uh, well using the uh, the um, 
uh, uh, the IT and digital capabilities. Uh, and then, for for once the the candidate is hired, he will be able to be on board rapidly to uh, sign all the administrative papers from uh, um, the insurance uh, company um, uh, statements or, or to, uh, for example, the uh, onboarding checklist. Uh, he has a computer. He has uh, work um, and. In the life uh, or, or the employee life within a company is also uh, signing payrolls uh, from still request like that. So that's the second one. The third one that uh, we we meet uh, is the document that is quite linked uh, with uh, the that the reverse I think what we supply instead of customers, but it will be roughly the, the same. So purchase order. Uh, um, indeed, the uh, contract, everything the security We we saw that with um, with numbers of customers, and they save a lot of time. And they give also an image to the supplier that is um, the modern and the, uh, uh, digital, so new. Um, but sometimes will give you an answer that is within a company, for example, when a company quiz um a scope of work, for example, to, to get signed, they have the uh, review or the legal statements uh, or acknowledge of um, I don't know, uh, projects, for example, everything like that. So they, this requires uh, some uh, some signatures and, and is still on paper and for something you can do. It means that DocuSign can be used uh, enterprise wide across the different business line. Uh, the question then is. What is what will be marketing with the first two scales? And uh, this depends on the uh, legal uh, um, what is the uh, the the AOI the, uh, in, uh, speed to implementation. And here we could say oh we take the uh, if we have a sort of chart, it will take the uh, implementation and it's a good approach uh, at least to identify the use cases that uh, it, uh, the company can, can uh, rapidly at least in a pilot and show to the the board uh, and, and to the district that this use case is in the building bank but is in the business. Uh, by saving uh, time, by cutting the costs, by eliminating, uh, eliminating the and, and what you see on the, the screen, eliminating the uh, the, the controls, we call it um, and on IGO, sorry, in, in English, um, and also to reduce uh, the turn of uh, the turn of the, the signature. Um, process. The the two other pieces that I mentioned in uh, the, the, the presentation is a customer experience. Everybody is uh, working digital and, and, and on mobile, so uh, the, the the orientation must be in the same so must be in the same speed that the transmission of users or or, or customers. So that, that's uh, really uh, interesting. And the second one is uh, to, to respect and to, to comply with the, the, the different regulation. But you, you have no worry that uh, if you are in North America and in Canada, um, uh, the design complies with the, the, the regulation. It should be with other, other countries, but we are more focusing on uh, North America. Um, to give you more details on, on what is the DocuSign, what is the platform itself, uh, I won't go into detail of the technical aspect, just to give you a flavor. 
So um, when there is a process order by Bonita, uh, actually Bonita tells what is the document, what is the workflow uh, uh, for the, the, the different signers, for the contact. The, the data that uh, would be interesting to um, uh, either fill out by the signer or, or update by the signer or the signer. And so that's we call the preparation phase is can be either uh, ordered by the application Bonita using the API or standard and or, or could be for other use cases, be um, uh, driven or ordered by the user using the DocuSign code. There are two different um, integrations, and we see that in the next slide. The, um, the second phase is the execution of the transaction. It is really important that you know the signer, uh, so like you know your customer, so know the, the signer, and there are different level of authentication according to the risk attached to the, uh, the connection. So risk attached to the document. If it's a really risky document, you will need even for the application, for example, adding the SMS code uh, that you probably use uh, with your bank uh, for, for payment for the, uh, the merchant. You use the authentication code. And so that's the first. And there are many other associations. We could use biometry, we could use different uh, uh, different means. The second one is the signature. There are different signature quality and technologies that DocuSign by itself or can be bought by other um, technologies uh, or, or providers. We're not going to test, but it's important that, uh, to know that uh, in which um, can provide this or can uh, bring other technology if it's needed that will connect with the platform. The last one is payment. We introduced that last year. Uh, the, 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 the nice use case is you rent a car, you um, fill out and sign the document, your contract with the, the, the renter, and then you potentially uh, add an insurance for the car. And you need to pay before leaving the uh, or taking the car away. So uh, we combine this with, for example, Visa or, or uh, PayPal or even Apple Pay. Also, this kind of PSP uh, providers uh, we combine the two, so the users is, is in the same user interface and can pay or sign and pay. That is the management of the transactions or any uh, all the reports, how I can publish the documents, the signed documents once it is signed, and it will go in this, this situation today, it will go to Bonita. Uh, go to another system or uh, file manager or this kind of thing. The, the platform is, uh, I said earlier, but it's highly available, 5.9, um, ext uh, extensive contract. Version. We have uh, really well documented APIs to to uh, scale the uh, the front use case if the previous connector are, are not uh, sufficient. Um, so what what I, I said earlier is uh, what is the uh, the different type of integration of the sign. I will go I will go quickly on this. So there is a standalone approach. So like the uh, real estate agent, we will use the sign um, standalone. We use the features. There is a, a connected approach uh, that, um, uh, so we have more than 300 pre-built connectors that we support or our partner support in the, in the case uh, of Bonita. Bonita support the, the connector with the design. And <clears throat> it allows to connect the different application according to what my business line is using as an application. It can be Office 365, like uh, I want to sign the document that I edited from Word, uh, Microsoft Word, fine, or Google, for example. Fine, you, you have a connector within the application itself, Microsoft or Google, to, to send and sign the document. Same with, with uh, the, the different other application. Or can be, in the case of a uh, uh, um, custom portal, like the online banking, for example, would be that the, the third one on, on the right is uh, using or connecting DocuSign with the um, 
uh, a business portal, a front-end portal, and involving Builder, for example, you uh, you can dis design the, uh, the, the process of the uh, the journey of the the, the, the customer, and uh, DocuSign will be at the end for uh, operating the system. Um, quickly, the uh, uh, DocuSign um, category is uh, digital transaction management. It's not only signature, but how to uh, um, um, carry the, 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 the transaction to the different recipients, collect the signatures, uh, make this signature uh, on mobile or anything. So everything in the life cycle of the, the, the document and the transaction uh, to manage the, uh, um, the, the transaction itself and connect with the different system, um, application in uh, upstream or downstream. So DocuSign is leading the, uh, the market. Uh, we have seven, more than 70% of the market share. Uh, uh, we have indeed some, uh, some competitors, uh, like Adobe, for example, that is uh, the, the second one, and they have 70% of the market share. Uh, we, ha we are recognized as the, uh, the, the leader by the different um, specialists, Gartner, Forrester, Aragon, for example. Um, as a leader of this category. Uh, if you need more information, we can help indeed after this, uh, this webinar. Uh, in terms of uh, projects and assessment of the deliverable, how, how you, you, you will uh, conduct the, uh, the project is first, uh, as I said, is you need to identify the, uh, the, the different use cases. One, two, three will be a, a start, then you extend according to uh, the, uh, the needs within the company and the readiness of uh, the, bis the business unit. Secondly, it's good to prototype the solution thanks to a cloud solution like DocuSign and, uh, add, and the Preview Connector with Bonita because it's quite easy to uh, set up a prototype or pilot so you can demonstrate the, um, the, the, the the impact of, of the solution to, to the business and to uh, the customer as uh, The third one is a um, solution architecture, architecture sorry, uh, making sure that it, it is uh, well uh, inserted or connected with the different application and, and the different IT uh, components in, in your, your organization. And define the two last one is define the, the deployment roadmap can be one, two months, for example, for the first use case, but what is uh, the roadmap at three years? W what will be the different uh, use cases that you will implement in, in the company? So give the vision to, to the board, uh, to the decision makers to, uh, for, for longer term investment. Uh, and the last one is because there is a potentially a deployment and investment uh, to, uh, for, for adding the, uh, this last kilometer or last mile of the transaction is what is a return and, and justify the value of, of the transaction or of DocuSign, sorry, added to uh, the different other uh, components, digital components. So that's uh, pretty it, uh, at least as an overview of uh, DocuSign combined with Bonita. Uh, there is a lot of other things to, uh, to tell indeed, uh, but from here I will uh, first thank you uh, everyone and I will take some, uh, some questions if there are for the remaining five, uh, five, five six minutes. Uh, Nicola, maybe I, I, I give you the hand on this if there is any question. Sure, definitely. Thank you, Sebastian, for a great presentation. Um, looking at the questions area, don't see any posted right now, but I invite everybody to please post any questions that you have. In the meantime, I can um, just invite all attendees uh, for the next upcoming webinar, which is beginning at 10.30 um, a.m. Pacific time covering cloud topics, so free yourself from in infrastructure constraints and embrace the cloud. We also have two webinars uh, coming up tomorrow to end this version of Bonita Days 2018. One is covering artificial intelligence starting at 9.30 a.m. and another one covering 
an always hot topic of blockchain um, following up at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. So um, if there's not any questions posted, which I don't see, I've included the link here. So if you would like to discuss in more detail about any ongoing projects or future goals, um, please feel free to reach out uh, via our contact form. The link is in the chat. And um, if any questions are not coming in right now, I guess I would like to thank everybody for attending. I would like to thank Sebastian once again for a great presentation. And uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. So um, thanks for attending, and please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions. Thank you very much.